How's it going, everybody? It's the Black Car Guru back with another video, and I want to discuss the L92. And not just the L92, but the L9H and the L94, all of the 6.2s and the truck applications. So, a good friend asked me, how does he make his 2009 Yukon Denali fast? And I thought this information would be beneficial to everybody, you know, towards making their 6.2 in any of your vehicles nastier than an old man playing pocket pool at a family reunion. So in 2007, the Yukon Denali and the Escalades and multiple other vehicles and GM's truck lineup got the L92 all the way to 2009 before being replaced by the L9H. The L9H ranged from 2009 all the way to 2014. The L94 also came in 2010 and ranged all the way to 2014. When you're looking to swap one of these engines into your G body, your F body, or whatever project you're doing and you want simplicity, go for the 2007 to 2009 version of the 6.2, you know, the L92, because this only has VVT. It doesn't have the AFM nor the flex fuel. Now, when it comes to the L9H, it does not have AFM, but it does have VVT and flex fuel. Now, the L94 is the most technologically complicated version of these 6.2s. It has AFM, it has VVT, and it has the flex fuel. So to make a long story short, if you're looking for LS3 but don't have LS3 money, just go for the L92, the L9H, and the L94. They're a lot cheaper. When you're modding this thing, you want to start adding some power. Start with your cam and your springs first. The heads are basically the same as the LS3. Well, they are the same as the LS3. So what you're going to do to the L92, since it's like the most basic version of these six tools, is get a variable valve time and delete or VVT delete kit. Now, this kit also comes with a three-bolt cam sprocket, allowing you to use a three-bolt cam versus a single bolt. Now, if you're not looking for big horsepower gains and you want something mild but you can hear it, a TSP Stage 2 truck cam would be the perfect cam for your, Den your 6.2 Denali's and your Escalades and stuff. Add some 660 lift valve springs and you're good. You don't have to do anything to the roller rockers. Those are 1.7 ratio roller rockers, so there's really nothing to change there. Now, along with this cam, you're going to need 373 gears and a 28 to 3000 style converter. 39 pound an hour injectors and some long tube headers for those 6.2 Denali's from 2007 and a half to 2013. Now with a combination like this, it's pretty mild. You're looking at 500 to 530 crank horsepower. Now, as far as making more power, like 600 to 680, close to 700, do a LSA supercharger swap. It lets you put a ZL1 or a CTSV supercharger on top of your 6.2 L92.